Welcome to One Minute Theatre Reviews. I'm Paul Seven Lewis. This is the Menya Chocolate Factory Theatre, and I'm here to see The Boyfriend. When Sandy Wilson wrote The Boyfriend back in the early 1950s, it was already nostalgic. And nostalgic not just for the 1920s in which it's set, but also for the old musical comedies which preceded the uh, more modern at that time musicals like Oklahoma full of uh, muscular realism. In fact the plot like so many of those musical comedies is so frothy that uh, if you feel it if you touch it it just disappears. It's just about enough to hold together the real strength of this show which is the lovely songs and dances. The songs are witty uh, with the most uh, delightful couplets in Bill Deemer's choreography you do get a lot of fantastic dancing in a very tight intimate space which is what Sandy Wilson originally intended so that these dancers are almost on top of you. You won't go away feeling you've had a substantial meal when you see The Boyfriend but you will uh, have enjoyed a beautiful sorbet. Well that was the one minute-ish review Keep watching for more on Sandy Wilson's The Boyfriend at the Menia Theatre. I said just now that even when it was written 70 years ago, Sandy Wilson's The Boyfriend harked back to a bygone era, uh, one of flappers and jazz. But part of the secret of its longevity is that really it's set in a world of its own. Uh, a world where rich young English ladies attend finishing school under the benign supervision of Madame Dubonnet. A world in which English reserve melts in the warmth of the Mediterranean sun and the charms of the Francais. A world in which a little deception and misunderstanding are mere ripples on a smooth voyage to romance and happiness. Put simply, its appeal is that it offers us a utopian world of innocence. Now, there isn't much plot to tell you about. Um, and a young heiress wants to be loved for herself, not her money. She meets a poor delivery boy, they fall in love, but he's not all he seems. Don't worry, it all works out. In fact, it all works out for everybody. And that maybe Sandy Wilson could have tried harder to incorporate some less predictable twists or more plausible predicaments, but that's not the point. The point is to escape into this fantasy world for a couple of hours and bathe in the brightness of the song and dance. The tunes and lyrics of Sandy Wilson's songs aspire to Cole Porter and while not actually reaching the great man's heights there is a lot of humour in the lines such as the mere idea of living in a palace is so full of fallacies. Uh, memorable songs include the uh, romantic I Could Be Happy With You, the jaunty It's Never Too Late To Fall In Love, an unexpectedly poignant Poor Little Pirette, and of course, The Boyfriend, do boop be doo I'm throwing all the titles at you like you might have heard of one of them, but whether you have or not, believe me, they are delightful. Oh, and a quick word of praise here for Simon Beck and his live orchestra. Paul Farnsworth's simple Mediterranean blue set is entirely appropriate and his 1920s style costumes are bright, elegant and a lot of fun. In the intimate space of the Meunier, the kicks are so high and the lifts bound so far across the stage that the people in the front row almost need to duck. Among the many glorious dancers, there's an infectious Charleston performed by Gabrielle Lewis Dodson and Jack Butterworth, both talented performers to watch out for in the future, and an amusing tango in which uh, the couple come to blows while maintaining the moves. The splendid chorus lines extend to the girls speaking and acting in unison as they flirt with their potential husbands. In fact, given that choreographer Bill Deemer is listed as associate director, it's uh, hard to say where his choreography ends and Matthew White's direction begins. But all praise to Mr. White for honouring the gossamer lightness of this musical while introducing enough down-to-earth physical comedy uh, with homage to various vintage TV programmes to keep a contemporary audience happy. Uh, for example, the stern maid Hortense uh, played with gusto by Tiffany Graves describes the demureness taught at the school while leaving her legs wide apart as she crosses them. 
shades here of Kenny Everett. And then there's a touch of Benny Hill when Adrian Edmondson, once a young one, appears as a lecherous old English lord, thwarted at every turn. Next behaviour we wouldn't expect to find funny anymore, but in the world of the boyfriend, even lechery is innocent fun, and Mr Edmondson squeezes every laugh he can out of it. He even eats an ice cream lasciviously. And he's just one of a terrific cast brought together in this Menier production. It's led by one of the great musical stars of the older generation, Janie D, who steals every scene she's in with her allo allo style French accent, another blast from the comedy past, and her knowing smile, uh, especially when she seeks to rekindle an old romance with uh, Petit Percy, uh, played uh, by an appropriately starchy Robert Portal. And it's a pleasure to see a star of the new generation, Amara Okerake, whose sweet voice and subtle acting convey both the strength and vulnerability of a young woman looking for love. Dylan Mason pays her suitor with fresh-faced innocence. I give it four stars. If you've enjoyed this review, please subscribe to One Minute Theatre Reviews on YouTube and you'll be the first to know about my future reviews. And if you're too distracted by what I look like to take in what I'm saying, then please visit my website, oneminutetheatrereviews.co.uk, for written versions of all my reviews. Thanks for watching.